OK, welcome, everyone. We'll be starting to take questions now. Okay, guys, we are out of time. Thank you very much for attending. Apologies if you were unable to get a question in. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? All the drama and all the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello everyone, great to be with you. We're broadcasting today from just to the northwest of Palma, from the Visit Mallorca Estadi. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson, and a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. It's Barcelona, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Stegen in goal. John Stones plays with Inigo Martinez in central defence. Frankie de Jong plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And short it is. Crossed into the penalty area. Still not clear. Oh, blocked it! Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. De Bruyne. And a useful cross. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. And Barca's corner. Put in by De Bruyne. And swept out of there. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, good save. short and the cross into the middle can he take this chance and still looking to get the shot off can they take the lead here oh did so well to deny him good work from Barca to make sure possession changed hands and teammates around him the keeper more than equal to the task. Vinicius Junior. Oh, 
disappointing for Barcelona to give it away like that. Bellingham. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Can they forge ahead? Watered by the post. Not all that convincing defensively. Mbappé! And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what all the fuss was about. It wasn't even close in the end. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. It needs an accurate cross. Well, it's a long way off target, you've got to say. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And Bellingham. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Valverde. Nicely timed tackle. That's a good looking ball. And the alarm bells are ringing. And the keeper's hand does the trick. Well, just look at those stats. Barcelona have looked so dangerous, but their finishing hasn't matched their build-up play, and that needs to change. Yes, plenty of possession. Just a matter of translating that possession into goals. Could take the lead. Now in a more than decent position. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Oh, what an opportunity. Opportunity still there. Oh, a superb chip. Spellbinding. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then just take a look at this, Derek. He sees the keeper off his line, and it's such a classy finish. Just lifts it over him. Beautiful goal. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. We're back underway, and that should really shake up Barcelona a bit, you would think. Determined defending. Eder Militao and Bellingham Nacho Fernandez Bellingham oh goodness not the best of challenges now then what's the referee going to do here And really, Stuart, they've left themselves with an awful lot to do in this one. Well, they have. They've got an uphill task now. That was just ridiculous. Time for a change, then. Have a go here. No match for a well organized wall. Real find themselves in a position of menace. He's in here. And the goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory.
injury course. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Ferran Torres. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And no more time left in this first half. We're at half-time here at the Visit Mallorca Estadi. And off and running again after a dizzying first half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Options in the middle. Keeper getting the touch. And the move breaks down. And that puts them in position. Well, no problems defensively. A long way out. Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. De Bruyne. Well, it's been a big story for quite some time, but now we can say the Ajax transfer is official. And Stuart, great news for their fans. Well, the figure quoted is around £25 million, and that, for me, is money well spent, because he has great ability and he's got a good attitude as well. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Joao Cancelo. De Jong. Marcinelli. It needs an accurate cross. It might still be problematic. Well, threat about it. More football for you to enjoy from La Liga coming up. Oh, you're in here, Derek. Cheeky! Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it! Pure brilliance! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. Well, on they go again. And Real very much in control. Joao Cancelo. Gabriel Martinelli. Inigo Martinez. De Bruyne now. For more live La Liga action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid, and they'll be facing Espanyol. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. De Bruyne has support. De Jong, he's blocked it. Vinicius Junior. Kylian Mbappe. 
A real opening now. Well, it goes down as an opportunity squandered. Not that the goalkeeper is complaining. Well, I have to say, that's a poor effort from a very good position. He should be scoring there. De Bruyne. De Jong. And Torres on the ball. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, they know they need to stop him. And in with a real chance. Just waiting for the support to arrive. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Joao Cancelo, Martinelli. And it's with Inigo Martinez. Inigo Martinez. And a tidy challenge. He's in with a chance. Well, I must say, that goes down as a very disappointing effort. Kunde. On to De Jong. Jules Kunde on the ball. Inigo Martinez. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Mbappe! A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Substitution for Real Madrid. Select for play. Torres. Barcelona have been awarded the throw in. Substitution time it is here. De Jong. It's with Joao Cancelo. So, deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. And he's made headway. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, it just petered out. Teammates available. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it.
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from that sort of range, you'd be shocked if Mbappe missed out. He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he is. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Joao Cancelo. Stones. Taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Crossed into the penalty area, able to deal with the threat. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. I have a feeling we're going to see this time and time again tonight. It's a fantastic bit of technique just to get that much lateral movement on the ball. Wonderful strike. And there goes the referee's whistle. It's official now. They've won the trophy. Well, it's a good win for them, and I think they deserved it today. They played well. And now for the official presentation. They were determined to succeed, and that's exactly what they've done here. Absolutely, and it will give them confidence going forward. I thought their performance was excellent today. And the winners about to enjoy the moment. As you said, very nice scenes here. Players really enjoying it, along with the fans as well. Yes, a positive atmosphere generated. And the thing about this group of players is they are so motivated and hungry for success. Well, they know there's a lot more bigger games to come throughout the season. And they've got to be focused now. And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world. And they'll certainly enjoy these moments. And then it's back to business straight away. But well played to them. They deserved it today. questions thank you
a game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and... And a warm welcome to the Catalan capital, Barcelona. Our action comes to you from the RCDE Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Espanyol, and they take on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, in this shape... Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Well, trying to direct a volley on target is never easy, but that wasn't great, was it? Well, not the connection he was looking for. It's well wide in the end. And news of a goal at the Reale Arena. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Real Sociedad. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. The first... Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. Just to confirm, Real Sociedad have found the net in that game, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Well, good effective pressure. Jose Grajera. Effective challenge. Trying to open them up. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. What can Real do from this position? It did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Pacheco. Mbappe! The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Edu Exposito. And nicely over the top. Given away by Real Madrid. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, the stats don't lie, do they? He's been in terrific form, scoring goals almost at will. Just one away from the record now, and you really won't put it past him notching that today. Mbappe. Really closing him down here. Rousseau. 
and Cabrera. Passing it around as the search goes on for an equaliser. Jose Grajera. Paul Lozano. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Mbappe. Opportunity here. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let Well, they could slip. finish here, Stuart. And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Well, that's one for them to pursue. It could be for Mbappe. A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly. It's a fantastic strike. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. Well, on they go again. And Real very much in control. And Bellingham, he's got to score! And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Played over. And the keeper left us in no doubt that that was always going to be his ball. Valverde and very nicely positioned to win it back Edu Exposito Calero very quick thinking there well breaking at pace is always a possibility Rodrigo and the counter-attack came to nothing. Fran Garcia. And return to Vinicius. That's a... Oh, big opportunity! And a decent save. Full credit. Well, another wonderful save to add to his portfolio. Mbappe, determined defending. Going well. The delivery, with plenty of time and space. Vinicius Junior. So the referee blows for half-time, and so far so good for Real Madrid. They are the side in front, Stuart. Well, we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game, and it's been the same old story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents, and clinical when they've had the chances too. I just can't see there being a response, if I'm honest. And off and running again after a dizzying first-half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Oh, in for the chance! Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. 
and a red card it is denial of a clear goal scoring opportunity well as soon as he made the tackle he knew the outcome that's an easy decision for the referee and the substitution will occur now So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection can he deliver it with accuracy not the most confident clearance Vinicius is it going to be stopped a surefire goal Well, a very significant piece of transfer business carried out, and this is now official. We have confirmed it. Presnel. Derek, they must finish here. Oh, a fine block. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Federico Valverde. Another La Liga treat in store for you soon on EA TV. It's Espanyol versus Celta Vigo. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. And you cannot argue with a hat trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Calero, 30 minutes to go then, Edu Exposito, just couldn't get it through, his determination there for all to see, and Real come away with it. 
Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Real Madrid, and they'll be... A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. Physically strong and secure on the ball. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Heel. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Not all that convincing defensively. Edu Exposito. Oh, that's a fine-looking pass. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Nacho Fernandez. 20 minutes remaining. Perfect tackle. Vinicius Junior. Oh, what a top notch pass. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it, and Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Paul Lozano. Must score! On a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. Davies. Must be! And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing! Just can't stop him today! Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Paul Lozano. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Now, who can he play it to? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. They get the ball once more. And play halted free. He kick given. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Away. Just 
just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Will they profit from this situation? Well cleared away. Right, new developments at the Reale Arena, so let's hear all about them from Alex. Yes, it's another goal for Barcelona. After a well-worked move, he got himself on the end of a cross with a beautiful header. They're back oh in. no, what a chance this is! And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Aguado. A very effective challenge put in. The electronic board, opportunity it is, but it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper, and that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for Flair striking through the back of the ball with power, but he has to hit the target from there. Aguado went in strongly to win the ball. Nice looking pass. Real chance. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Favouring the short one. Cuts it back. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect comeback. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game, and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Gracias por su tiempo.